So you recently switched to a hosted IP phone service using an ATA with an FXS port and now your alarm panel is going into false alarm state. Maybe you've got a cable phone service with a modem that breaks out to analog lines, but now your emergency phone in the elevator can't place emergency calls. I've also heard a digital phone system with an analog card that doesn't give enough power to power up that door phone and now you can't let customers into your business. What's the common problem here? More importantly, how do you fix it? Answers in this video. Viking Electronics manufactures the TBB-1B Talk Battery Booster, an inline device that raises talk battery voltage to 48 volts DC and raises a loop current to 26 milliamps. Connect your low voltage analog phone service to the line in terminals and the phone terminals to the device that needs additional power. An LED will light to indicate power and activity once the included power supply is connected to 120 volts AC power. Problem solved. Plus, the TBB1B passes ring cadence, hook switch flash, caller ID, and CPC signals, and it requires no additional programming out of the box. Next time you need a boost, remember the TBB-1B by Viking Electronics.